The all new Lyle magnetic organizers are here to improve productivity in the shop. The new probes that you didn't know even existed until now. Standing all day can be rough, so Lyle went above and beyond and made the heavy duty Lyle creeper seat. Milwaukee Insider Ratchet has an upgrade that you may want to know about. Guys, are you tired of spilling oil all over your valve cover and making a mess? The new Lyle tool has you covered. With daily promotions, weekly deals, and amazing prices, make sure you stick around for the entire video. Welcome back guys, it's another episode of Talking Tools with Text Choice. I'm Connor Jordan, this is Drew Nicolaitis, and that is Matt Sledge over there. And we have some brand new products that we're gonna to show to you, some exciting products that we haven't shown before. So we're gonna let Matt go right into it. There's this product right here that I'm about to talk about, man. You can't find anything about it on the internet except for one video that was shot on TikTok and the guy did a phenomenal job. We might actually put a link up here in this video to show what he did, but this guy was trying to find ground and power on a heavy duty piece of equipment and he's just by himself. So I don't know what kind of guy, how you, how you work whenever you're just one-handed and you don't have ha hands to hold on to the leads by yourself, but look no further. Tool Aid came into effect with the 21200. This is the clamp probe holding set. So I'll set this down. We'll probably do a B-roll on this. This thing has a spring-loaded clamp on it with a spring-loaded piercer right there. You can actually put this right here onto the battery, and if you needed to get ground, you don't have to have someone hold your lead anymore, so you were looking for... Uh, in this situation, you may be looking on your meter to see if you have a voltage drop. So uh, to look to see if you have a voltage drop would mean that you have a loose connector or maybe a loose wire. You may have to go around the truck to keep looking at your meter to see if the voltage is dropping because... As you drive down the road, you might have a vibration that uh, disrupts that signal and you can't check it. So Tool Aid made this right here very, very simple and they came out with these for only $40, guys. These things are made in the USA. I believe this is a USA company, but I will actually have to check that right here on I'll the take package. It. Actually, it's not made in the USA. I made 100% a <laughs> mistake, but we know the guys from, from the company. Yeah. And, uh, they're they, from the USA. They're from the USA. <laughs> they are. <laughs> good, they're Americans. Uh, they're from the company, and they, they do a really, really, really good job. So they sent us these right here for free for us to do some test out. We're actually going to do a TikTok. We'll do an MLive demo on this right here very soon. But one thing cool about this is actually if you can't hold on to the fuse box and you're trying to test like a mini fuse, you can actually hook this onto the relay and send it into the fuse so that you don't have to have someone hold that because not all the times can you take a probe and pierce a fuse because it's hard no, plastic. No, exactly. Yeah. It's hard plastic, so you have to hold it on there. But if you guys are electric dyad guys, you may be Chuck Engine Chuck out there and you hadn't seen this right here before, pick one of those up from Text Choice Tools for a really cheap price. Yeah, but like he said, the main we have it on a battery. That's not the main tool reason it's you use this example. it's just an example just so we have it it's for the fuse boxes like i said and i'm going to b-roll that so you can see that and the clamps on those things are beefy yeah they are a little beefy but drew you're going to talk about your products next. all right so let's do this one first this is the lyle <laughs> magnetic tool holder so lyle isn't uh biased this thing will hold a snap-on gun i'm told yeah uh, <laughs> mac or maco or whoever you know but it holds a Milwaukee one quite nicely. Actually, it's upside down. Oh, it's upside down. I don't even know. I just yeah. got here, guys. There you go. That's exactly but look at that, dude. I mean, it's beautiful. And the magnet on this thing, you know, you could pick up a car That's with. It's got to be so. a six-inch magnet. I mean, That's I cool. sold a paint gun holder today, and it was 40 bucks, And the magnet was half the size. I'm sure a lot of the cost is the magnet. So, I mean, what is this guy, Connor? $34.99. $34.99. Magnets are expensive these days. And this, this guy's steel. Um, it'll Dynamics. fit any guns. It'll fit your paint guns, too. Um, your pistol, whatever you want to put it in. Side of your box, you could do that with. Um, but you think this would be a real common thing in the market, but there's not a lot of tool holders out there, especially for uh, electric tools. Cause I mean, you guys got to think there's probably a lot of young guys watching this, but five years ago, the common thing was air guns and you wouldn't really do that with this. So all you shop owners that are out there, you need one of these on every one of your lifts. So your mechanical leads is the impact gun right next to the lift. That way he can be more productive. He doesn't have to go walking back and forth looking for it. You could have a working comp claim. You know, he could trip right. your hose or something like that. If you get a magnetic tool holder, it will solve all your problems. That's right. And that is a uh, Lyle 29, 29 or 23940. Sorry, I'm dyslexic, guys. And then also another uh, cool product they came out with was everybody's seeing the uh, glove box holder. Well, 
Um, there's different size boxes. If you don't want to put a box of gloves, you want to put a box of something else on there. This guy, yeah, there you go. Um, will bite into the side of a cardboard box and will grab onto each side and you can either put it on your toolbox, put it on you know, the bathroom door, whatever you need to do. But that guy's pretty snazzy and pretty universal too. They are, and it, it, it fits any box. Like you yeah, said, any that's, box. The, that's the main kicker. Normally you have just the one size glove box that you see everyone have, but you can put that on a box for gloves or you put it on a really big box if you just need to have paper sitting in there for someone. Um, but yeah, that's a great universal. Super tool cool, something that you didn't know you needed. Now you know. And then how much is it though? Um, my my uh, my phone's not. It's forty four dollars and ninety nine. There we go. Out there, there we go. Drew's the most unprepared guy here. That's so right, dude. Boys are on YouTube uh, giving you all the props, Drew. I know, dude. I'm down today. And I'm his defense, he route. walked in and it was like cameras rolling. You know. going. So we got forty four ninety nine and thirty four ninety nine. Other way around. Oh, 3499, 4499. <laughs> there you go. Cut that part. It's okay. All right, guys, the next part we're going to be talking about is the Lyle Creeper seat that they just came out with. You know that they have the Lyle's Jeepers Creeper. That's the thing they're known for, but they decided to come out with a seat. This is a metal uh, frame on it. There's no plastic on it. The only piece of plastic you're going to see on it is not even plastic. It's just a material on here for the foam. The um, you're going to get like a three inch foam pad on here. It's memory foam, so it's going to fit very well. And most of yours are about 250 pound weight capacity on these because they have the shocks and everything. But this guy is for little boys, big boys, all the different sizes. It goes up to 350 pound weight capacity on this. And it is bad boy. The wheels on this are pretty heavy duty as well. The casters, um, there is not a locking caster on here, which you don't really need on one of these, but it has a nice big tray at the bottom. And then if you have a magnet, you could always stick some stuff on here or you can throw some parts in the bottom of here. But this guy's only $155, so it's pretty affordable compared wow. to some of the other ones that are out on the market. So if you need one of those, pick them up on our website, and Text Choice to Tools. That together. Just to let you know, I put that together on the live the other day, but one of the biggest selling points on that creeper is, guys, when you get it, roll it across the shop. It never stops moving. I thought for one second our floor was unlevel. That's the re that's how good the thing rolls because it just keeps on going. So be awesome uh, for detail guys too yeah, or you know, man, tons you know, of room you don't want to get fatigued if you're sitting on down doing breaks i mean i like to sit on the stool whenever i'm doing a brake job because i don't have a lift that's why all right you want to talk about a multi-purpose function funnel okay guys if <laughs> it's you a long title there and you were spilling oil all over your valve cover stop doing it okay stop doing it don't be a hack buy this the right way get the actual multi-purpose fu uh, funnel holder right here this thing fits and i'm just going to run through this real quick this fits a Cadillac, a Chevy, a Ford, a Mazda, a Toyota, a Lexus, an Acura, a Honda, a Nissan, a Audi, a BMW, a Mercedes, Volkswagen, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep, Pontiac, uh, Subaru. I'm going through a lot of the Hyundai um, and Volvo. So every one of these right here is actually co color coded and they actually put the color coding on the funnel. So whatever car you're working on, you know exactly which adapter to go get. So in each one of your valve covers, underneath the valve cover fill, cap there is a baffle in there so the old days of actually getting a funnel and sticking the funnel down in the valve cover like on a 350 chevrolet or something you can't do that anymore there's a baffle there so a lot of you guys out there that have some of these cars you'll understand what i mean so you have to literally sit there and hold the funnel and hold the oil with your hand and if you're anything like me you actually turn your head a little bit to look at something else and you spill oil all, all over the place this thing has a huge spill resistant four inch hole right here on top of it. They actually give you a cap so you can safely store this in your toolbox and not spill all the oil everywhere. And then it comes with a 45 degree angle that is attached to the funnel. So in all examples, you would take this, put this into whatever vehicle that it fits, hook up your cap, disconnect this part right here, hook that into your, hook that into your funnel. Now you can just pour your quartz and quartz and quartz in there and you don't make a mess. So you can pull this right here away, unscrew your cap, you don't get oil all over your valve cover. Next thing you know, it's leaking onto your header and your car's smoking as you go down the road. So do a good job for the customers that are coming in to pay a premium for those oil changes mm -hmm. because oil changes are not cheap anymore. They're $100. $67.97, guys. And 
Lyle's a great company. They mm -hmm. offer a lifetime warranty, and all these individual pieces right here are replaceable. You can go to Lyle's website, or you can get in contact with us if you lose one of these adapters, but we have these in stock, and we'd love to sell them. And those them. adapters come on the trays in that kit, too, yeah. so if they're sitting in your toolbox, they're not just loosey-goosey rolling around you everywhere. You a couple holes here if you really wanted to be detailed and screw this to the wall. Like, say you did a lot of oil changes, and you were in an oil change bay, this right here would be a great item for you. This is the newest improved model out there. That's so two additional two ones. Additional mm -hmm caps that are on there so 14 pieces in total but for 60 bucks and you're going to do this every day invest in your job and buy the right tool for the right job i don't really have any more oh we got, drew, we got drew does have something exciting all right guys so everybody should be pretty familiar with the uh, milwaukee insider ratchet and the biggest gripe that i had on the route was guys would go to pull their socket off or their extension off and the head that they were using in the insider ratchet would come with it, whether it be the quarter, three eighths, so on and so forth. Well, Milwaukee uh, came out with a add-on slash repair slash, yes. So this guy, I'm sure we will do an up close, but it's, I haven't even physically touched one until just now. So it slips in there and it has a locking collar. So it's gonna stay in the ratchet. So you put that socket on there, it's not gonna come off, you know, easily anymore. And uh, we have them on the website. We offer them for sale for $14.99, or there's another option for the tech savvy fellas. Um, there's going to be a QR code that's going to pop up here, and you can go in there and you can get it warrantied out for you for free. But if you're not tech savvy and you don't have time, you don't want to wait, we do offer them for sale. Um, and it not, wouldn't be a bad idea to have multiple of them too, man. So we did a TikTok on that. We caught a lot of flack about it, about everyone finding out there it's for free. Believe me, we are connected with Milwaukee, and we totally understand. Now, it's a six-step process. You have to show a picture of your serial number. You have to show a picture of your original receipt, where you got it, a lot of different detailed information. And let's say you bought this thing from Summit Racing and you have no receipt or you can't get in touch with them, that's where we are here to provide the service to you. And to be honest with you guys, we sold the shit out of them because a lot of people wanted these. And I'll tell you another thing, the part number is 4916-1666 and 1667. I, I researched these adapters like a lot because they're absolutely for sale nowhere and i can only tell you and i'm not trying to just steal your business but we're the only ones that haven't been stopped yeah right? yeah i haven't seen them anywhere else we oh. had a warehouse the other day that had well we took them all yeah and they had zero and we have a, we have another warehouse that's bringing in like 150 of them but we have plans on taking them too yeah so. and like they said so you can buy these if you want to if you don't if you don't want to buy them and you want to do it the warranty way, that QR code, just screenshot it and boom. But other than that, we've sold, like Matt said, we've sold the crap out of them. So it's not like we're trying to get an extra buck off you. We're not trying to do anything like that. It's just some people don't like to deal with doing warranty I claims. Mean, so day, at the end of the day, $13 for them. Yeah, we don't make anything off of it. Yeah, exactly. We're making a whole $2 off it. But going into that, we're done with talking about products. But just a heads up for the rest, the next Ooh, couple, two... You three weeks coming up for text choice. We're going to be a little bit slower on our side for us. So I will be going from Wednesday until the following Wednesday. There's almost two weeks of time. I will be out of the office. So Matt will be your online person all the day, all the time. So that also means that Drew and Matt will be in charge of all the social media. So good luck with that, and we'll see how that goes. We're going to pre-shoot a YouTube video before, though, so we have a YouTube video. But the TikToks are on these two, so I'm be ready for that. The ice. Connor is actually marrying my daughter I am. In, in just a few days, and Connor will now be family. He hasn't been family. I've kept him far away from me for a while, but now he will be family. And <laughs> Whatever he wants to say. We'll start to get a little more crazy around here for text choice. Hopefully they'll be progressing and going and going forward. So... You guys stick with me. If you send me an email, I'm not as savvy as Connor is. I don't know how to work the computer as good as he can, but I got a phone and I can call you on the phone and call you back and handle your problem. If you send an email, he's not going to probably email. He's going to call you. I'm going to call Guarantee you it. if you send me an email, but the biggest thing is uh, I won't be calling Connor. So if I can't get you an answer in a week, you have sorry. to wait. They're on vacation. They're on their honeymoon. That's what they need to do. And uh, plus they'll be out of country. So if I were you, I wouldn't buy the cell phone package while you're on the boat. Uh, 
We already did, but we'll have it. We'll have it. So if there is a 911, I don't care. I'm not going to answer them anyways. Um, But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to do something really big, ring the bell so you get notified every time that we make a post on YouTube. And make sure you go follow us on all of our other social media pages. But other than that, y'all have a great week. Peace out.